Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice inverse of functional equations? We are given f inverse of x minus 2 equals 4x plus 3. And we want to find f of x that satisfies this. So the first thing is we we'll consider the solution here. Let's solve this equation by applying two methods here. So here, let's call this one method one. So for the first method, from the given questions, we are going to apply form manipulation here. We are given f inverse of x minus 2. So this equals, so for x here, and what we have here at the domain is x minus 2. The other side, we are having x plus uh, ordinary x. I want to make sure that it's also having x minus 2. So let's see how we can form manipulate it. So here we have 4 into bracket of. So what I need here is x minus 2. Okay. But it's just like I've changed x to x minus 2. You know, when we try to expand this, 4 times x, that is 4x. And 4 times minus 2, that is minus 8. And we have 3 there. So which means that we are going to add 11 to this. So when we add 11 to this, we get 4x plus 3. Then we cannot replace this x plus x minus 2. So we replace it with our x. So that is, we replace this domain with just x. So by replacing that, we are going to have f inverse of x. So this equals 4x plus 11. So having 4x plus 11, so then we are going to find f of x. So to find f of x, so we are going to let, assume that we let f inverse of x equals y. And by this property, f inverse of x, we can just write it as x over f. So x over f equals y. So if x over f equals to y, so we can just cross multiply. We multiply f with y. So when we multiply f with y, we are going to have f of y equals x. So let's try and take note of this. So we have f of x equals y. And let's recall back from f inverse of x. So since we let f inverse of x equals to y, then we are going to have our y equals 4 and uh, we are going to have x, so which is 4x plus 11. I want to make x the subject of the formula from here. So by making x the subject of the formula, so this shows that we are going to take 11 to this side and we have 4x. So here we have 4x equals y minus 11. And we divide both sides by Let's divide both sides by 4. So I'm trying to show this one step by step. So divide both sides by 4. So by dividing both sides by 4, what we have left here is x equals y minus 11 divided by 4. Then we have x here, but our x is f of y from this above. So x is f of y. So let's try and replace it. We are going to have f of y equals y minus 11 divided by 4. And by changing y to x, so we get the result which is f of x. Therefore, our f of x here equals x minus 11 over 4. So this is the solution that satisfies this for the first method. So let's see how we can uh, solve this same question with another method. So, let's see method 2. So, the first one I applied for manipulation method. So, here, let's try and apply substitution method. So, from this domain, you know, our domain here is given as x minus 2. <coughs> Suppose I replace the domain, instead of x minus 2, if I let x minus 2 equals letter t, 
Therefore, we are going to make x the subject of the formula. So here we have x equals t plus 2. And let's recall back from the question. We have f inverse of x minus 2. The x minus 2 is now our t. So by replacing it, we have f of f inverse of t equals 4x. Instead of x, we change into t plus 2. Then here is plus 3. By this, can see that f inverse of t equals 4 times t when we open this bracket. We have 4t plus 4 times 2, that is 8 plus 3. And 4t plus 8 plus 3, so we can just add 8 and 3 together. We have f inverse of t equals 4t plus 11. So just like what we got earlier, so we have 4t plus 11, then we can just replace f inverse of a, t with f inverse of x and we have this as 4x plus 11. So this is for only um, uh, the x and uh, we can find the inverse applying the same method that we just applied above and when we apply that we get the same result. So this is how to solve this problem. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel like the video and uh, share it. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.